All right, we're the red player and the map is Europe. And we've got a lot of troops over here in West Africa, but so does blue. I've got a few over here in uh, the Europe region, but uh, a lot of one stacks though. I think we're strongest over here in West Africa. Ooh, look at that uh, one point hold for North Africa. That's really good. If green doesn't go for that, I could just grab that. Just a free plus three. Blue grabbed Iceland on their first turn and it'll go for uh, this over here, which will be nice plus five. And that's pretty good. I just, I, I want this, but blue's gonna have a bonus coming in. They're gonna fight me for that pretty aggressively, I imagine. Although maybe they're trying to like push out this way and go for that. Eastern Europe is a plus eight and black already has half of that. They might actually go for that be pretty strong over there. Right now, they're, they're gonna work on the Orient. I think these troops we have over here in the Orient, they're a lost cause. They're just gonna get destroyed eventually, so see a later skater to those. Only two troops in the Russian Empire over here, so we're probably not gonna get that. Central Europe, I have three here. I could maybe try and fight for the plus four bonus on the, uh, what do you call it, the Dynaric Alps there? Alps there? It's a three-point hold, hard to hold. I kinda want this. It's a two-point hold West Africa if I can deal with blue quickly enough. How do we deal with blue down here? I can stack seven here to beat that three, get that out of there, and then just stack another troop over to here, maybe? Maybe that was a misplay, actually. Just get just get blue weaker down here so they don't fight me for this. Get one there, and let's just go ahead and attack a bunch of these other territories, just because I might be able to, like, take out some ones. Increase my number of territories, decrease theirs. Give myself, like, a, a territory troop advantage. I'm not super worried about this. These are all going to be lost troops for me eventually. Pretty unlucky here. I'm not going to break them because they might be angry about that. Okay, unlucky with the breaks here. Come on, give me more territories for bonus. All right, unlucky. And I guess I'll fortify this over here to keep black from uh, making their way in there. The reason I did that was to increase the number of territories I have and decrease the number of territories they have. That way, I if I keep some of these territories, I end up with more troop bonus. Because for every three territories you have, you gain an extra troop. So I can decrease the troops they have, increase the ones I get. Unfortunately, blue is going to fight me for West Africa. That is a move that's probably going to go pretty poorly for the both of us. But because they're getting this um, uh, plus two bonus over here in Iceland, they're actually going to be able to put up a good fight for it. I need somebody else to break them. I should have just broken them instead of letting them have that bonus over there. I was hoping they wouldn't fight me for this down here, but they are. And unless somebody else goes to war with them, that's a fight they're just going to win because they have troops coming in. Uh, extra bonus over here that I don't. So we're in a lot of trouble here. Pretty bad start for us, unfortunately. It's actually a pretty good play in Blue's part because they, in a 1v1 with me, they will win as long as nobody else messes with them. All right, Black going ahead and getting uh, Scandinavia up there. And the thing about Europe Advance is most players will spend most of their time in the first few rounds just trying to get their bonuses rather than trying to fight or anything like that. So we are in a bit of a disadvantage here. Let's just go ahead and work on these over here. Soften up you, all your stuff, and then fortify this over to, let's say, here to get ready to fight you. But you're probably going to stack, you know, all your troops right here and just beat my eight. And if you do that, we've basically lost the game because what happens in this map is somebody gets their, if somebody in the first turn gets their uh, bonus before you and then they go to war with you when you don't have your bonus, like you just, you just kind of lose, unfortunately. I need other people to fight this guy, otherwise we're kind of out of luck here. I need somebody to break him, but there's not gonna. Nine troops for blue. I think we're kind of toast here. Maybe I shouldn't try to fight them. Maybe I should just go on for this uh, plus four bonus on the Alps here to have some troops fueling me to fight them, maybe? A little bit of luck, perhaps? Or if I'm lucky, oh, they gave up. They abandoned ship. They abandoned ship. And they're just gonna go over here and uh, maybe like get some card grab over here. That's fine by me. Just get get out of here. This, this is my plus six. You've got your plus five. Let me have my plus six. Realistically speaking, they probably should just, you know, stacked here and slammed me. And they probably would have won the fight for this plus six. But if they want to let me have it, I will take it. The black player put in 10 over here on Urzurum. I don't know what that name is, but okay. And they're gonna probably just kind of smoosh me out of there. Honestly, that's fine. I'm not worried about it. They want to take this as quickly as possible. Or they're just worried. They just want me out of there because they're worried about me. All right, they're gonna, ooh, they're gonna get the Orient pretty quickly here. They still gotta get this and this over here to get the plus six bonus for Orient. But once they do, they're sitting pretty over there. All right, they fortified up to there. It's our turn. I'm gonna go ahead and do my stack here and I'm gonna get you out of here and then put a little uh, wall there against uh, green here. And I don't want them to, you know, be tempted to break me and I'm just gonna hope that black doesn't break me actually no we fortify we match the troops they have there as a as a sign of like like hominess like we're you know we're the buddies fantastic we have two blizzards here that keep us from having to guard over here at all this is normally a, a ooh, no green doesn't trust oh no they're gonna break me oh no they've got 51 troops honestly green going to war with me here after I had to fight blue 
will work out really well for them. If green or blue are more experienced, they would just push around the advantage that they have on me instead of let me get this plus six bonus. But they let me have it. They let me have it. We're still in this, even though we are real low on troops. We had to work hard against blue to get this. It's a tough one for us here. Blue's plus five bonus. They can slowly fall farther and farther behind unless they grab some more. I need to get more territories. I only have 16. You've got 25. You've got 21. I need to figure out where I want to go next. I probably, my next ex national expansion is, whoops, I clicked my thing here, is to go into Southern Europe. And you've got 11 troops there. You are getting a lot of troops there. I am so far behind. I got like turtle part. I don't like how much green stacked my border. That, that's a big sign of they don't trust me. Like they really overstacked against me. And I don't trust it. I guess I did go to war with blue down there. So they're kind of scared of that, right? Yep, the black player stacks nine on there, probably slams through Ankara and Istanbul and shores up a defense against South Russia to complete their plus six bonus. And they finally have their plus bonus. How do you have so many troops in spite of not having your bonus? I guess you had this up here and you didn't fight blue to get yours. I was the only one who had to go to war to get their bonus. You got yours for free, you got yours for free, you got yours for free, but blue made me suffer for mine. How dare you? I'm so low on troops, it's crazy. 11 troops, but we're back in this. All right, I'm going to, again, I'm going to match you instead of surpassing you in troops. But lucky, lucky nobody broke my bonus here. And we need to start working our way over here for more potential bonuses. Get some cards, get some more territories, fortify this over to here. And then try and get that plus four up there as well. And ooh, 13 troops is scary. I need more territories, would be good. Could try for Russian Empire, it's not that well defended. It's a one, two, three, four point defense. That's a lot to defend. I'm low on troops, so you guys are gonna wanna like break me. I don't know if I can hold that. I don't think I can. All right, green, so up here getting more territories. Uh, me and blue are in last place because we fought and these guys did not, but we can come back from this, maybe. Blue trading in on four cards. They are a new player, which explains why they like half committed this and they half didn't. They needed to either commit to fighting me down here to get this plus six or never not put there at all, not do half and half, and that's shows a newer player. Not that I'm some crazy expert. That's a lot of troops. They could just break this guy. I mean, it's not a terrible idea. They could just break this and take it. What's he going to do? His 10 stack and 7 stack are halfway across the board. I mean, I guess he could stack all the troops there next turn and fight him for it, but honestly, just, I, yeah, just take it. Like, it's it's probably worth the risk just to grab that. It's only a plus 3. This guy can probably go for Russian Empire instead. A little bit of flexibility is good, right? To move around the board. That snow protects that. That's a 1 point hold. This is a, what is that, a plus 8 bonus? And you only got, ooh, no, don't fortify there. Fortify right there. That is a plus 8 total bonus. You only need to hold right here. And right here, because of the blizzards, a two-point hold for all that. Yeah, blue's definitely new player fortifying back there instead of just defending it right there. Blacks can go for the Russian Empire this turn for the plus seven bonus. And unless somebody opts to break them, they're just going to get it. But I feel like uh, this is going to be a good match for them. I guess maybe if blue and black keep fighting, me and green can be homies, right? Yeah, they take it this turn. I'm not going to try and break them. That's really good. They're getting a plus 13 bonus. I need to hurry up and get this, so I'm at least getting a plus 10 catch up a little bit, right? This guy's getting seven. This guy's getting eight. I'm only getting six. I'm getting the smallest bonus right now. I'm not going to trade on four. It's not worth it. I'm going to stack everything right here. And uh, we're going to work our way up through here and get myself some of this. Sorry to destroy your three, but it's in my way. And then this is a this is like a two point hold here. So let's split these troops kind of evenly and just hope to not get broken. I got to protect both of those because this troop this has access to both of them. Nothing really to fortify and turn kind of risky trying to hold that with only six troops because they could just stack all this right here break this go here 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 and break my bonus i just have to hope that they're just not gonna do that because if green or blue or black does that to me i'm kind of screwed the only way i catch up in this is if i take a little bit of a risk and get away with it that is a big 24 stack right there that's scary but hopefully you're just gonna leave me be we're not stacking troops on our borders anymore i think green and i have kind of like an unspoken alliance and hopefully we'll just kind of like be homies get along oh green going to war with black does not like the idea of black holding a plus 13 bonus okay this is what a rough oh they're gonna break them all the way oh man oh that is devastating for them but lucky for me so the board is evening out a little bit here we're still i'm no longer in last place so that's something we're we're, we're still in this a little bit bit of a rough start but now it's a rough mid game for black green's just been like having a great match the thing about what's happening here is 
both blue and green are antagonizing black, and so black's gonna be bad, mad at both them. Black will probably leave me alone. So I'm gonna imagine here. Okay, they did a weird thing here where they put some of the troops here and they're fortified up to here. And they have this over here. They're spreading the troops around in a weird way, which is good. If they spread the troops around all over the place, they're not gonna be in a good position to like do eliminations. Black's just gonna go ahead and probably just grab all their stuff back and just try and shore it up and defend it a little bit better. Although they still have a lot of weak points here and well, here's probably gonna be fairly weak too, right? Green try to break them again, though. I mean, they lost a lot of troops doing that, didn't they? Question is, where do I go next? Do I go for this little plus four bonus right here? I'm worried if I let my bonus get too big, too quick, they're gonna get mad at me and break me. That's the vibe I get. Force trade on five here. We'll trade in all these for some more troops. And I'm going to short my defense here a little bit. Not too much. I don't want them getting anxious over there. I just want to, like, short my defense a little bit. How many more do I have? 11. All right, let's put these all right here. And I'm going to I'm not going to try to grab another territory this turn. I'm just going to grab that one right there and leave a few over there. I'm not going to try and grab it too quickly because the read I have on the people in this match, actually we should fortify it right more like this. Cuz that's the one they have to break through to get back down to here to break me again. I don't want to get too greedy of my territories, I need to be able to defend them because blue and green have both shown that they are very aggressive on breaking other players' bonuses. So if I get too greedy trying to grab too much too quickly, what they will do is that they will uh, break me and punch me for my greed. So let's not get too greedy now. We've kind of caught up on troops here. We're doing all right now. And they're breaking black again. Ooh, my man can't catch a break. They should have passed from here down to here to here to here. If they got lucky, they could have broken that as well. They're now claiming this extra bonus, taking borders with them. Only putting three there, though. They're, they really don't want to antagonize uh, uh, blue there. So green is being very good neighbors to myself and blue. I'm being a good neighbor to everybody, apart from, you know, fighting blue for this early to fair blue got my way. And blue is going to stack here. Does that mean they're going to break this and not let you have the extra plus four? Ooh, I don't like that nine stack there. Are they trying to fight me for that bonus? No, they're moving out of the way. Okay, interesting. Oh, they're trying to claim the, the plus five bonus from Central Europe here to get themselves even more troop income. All right, all right. So far, right now, green, myself, and blue, or homies, we're all getting along, and black is over here just crying because they got greedy to claim uh, the Russian Empire too quickly. Right now, they need to shore up this and this. Oh, they, I think they're going to self-destruct. I think they're about to self-destruct on green. Yeah, yep. Oh, no, they're trying to push green out of here. That way, green can't keep popping from down here. And I see, yeah, they're going to take this plus three instead and then try and hold this and hold this as well. They're, they're giving up on the rush, the greed for Russia. No, they're just greeting for as much as they can. This is great for me because, well, that's just one less thing I have to deal with, right? Unless they let them hold it. I still only have 18 territories, but then again, you have 18, you have 14, not so bad. Do I try to hold this extra plus four bonus right now? How many troops are everybody getting? You are getting three, six, eight. You're getting eight right there. You're getting four, eight. Um, so if I, I'm getting 10, I've got, I've got the biggest bonus out of you guys. If I go more, you're not going to love me for that. I'm going to keep stacking uh, just a few here, just a few, and just, you know, enough to like secure myself because I don't fully trust here. And then we'll just put these right here. You know, uh, do I take the risk and go for it and grab another bonus? I, th I think I take the risk and hopefully get away with it. I think these guys got their hands full with how much they've angered uh, the black player over here and, uh, I can probably... F oh, I should have fortified. Whoops. Oh, well. Hopefully, they'll be okay. Yeah, I, I think green is fully committed to this war with black for whatever reason, which is great for me. I don't fully understand it, but it's great for me. Now, I can sit here and kind of get more territories, get stronger, short my boars to be a little bit better, and gain a bigger and bigger advantage, and try to wait for an opportunity to eliminate a player for even more cards. Then I'm, I'm worried that after that, green and blue will gang up on me. Maybe I should be trying to break blue. I go to war with blue while green goes to war with black. 12 troop trade in on four again. Gotta be a newer player, right? 93 troops though is scary. Ooh, you're gonna break me. Yeah, 26 right there. You're gonna break me, right? Yep, yep, yep. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. So we go to war with blue. Maybe they didn't realize they could just go right there or they wanted to break me. But that was an act of war on the part of blue. So I'll just break your, I'll just break you as well. Easy peasy. You break my plus four, I break your plus five. Not a problem. We go back and forth. I'm not worried about that. In fact, I could trade in. I mean, I could slam right through you and break more of your bonuses. Now that I want to free up all your troops and go to war. Honestly, going to war with you right now is bad for me. Trying to secure more borders is good for me. Black is still hanging in there. They've got 53 troops. Green's got 53 troops. Blue's looking strong right now. And I don't want to go to war with blue before I trade in my cards. Especially when you go first in the turn order here. Ooh, black making good play to turn in their cards and push green out of them. 
so that if green wants to get over to black, they have to go through um, us. So I give up on trying to hold this territory because they're gonna they're gonna want to path through this. Instead, I try to grab something else. Do we keep pushing black around? They are they have no car trade in. They're low on troops. I could try and work my way down to North Africa and take that from them. Not that I want to anger them so much per se, but do I do I do that? I I they can't car trade. They could they still get a massive troop bonus they could hurt me with. But you know what? Let's just go ahead and join in on this and uh, grab this down here for ourselves. Put three there and hit over here as well. Break this. Put three there and then oh, I mean this is our doesn't that's already fine there. I guess we fortify this down over to here and then we take this plus three bonus away from them and hopefully they leave it be. You know you've got Russian Empire, you've got this. That's plus thirteen for you. I'm gonna worry about that. That twenty-two stack there is scary. I need to read the psychology of these players. They stacked a little bit there. They still don't fully trust me. They're actually breaking blue there as their path to get through to break black again. I, yeah, <laughs> yeah, why? <laughs> why indeed? <laughs> Black is just like, why? Why, Green? Why do you hate me and me exclusively? This poor player just... <laughs> Green will not leave them alone. <laughs> I don't understand it. But it's working out great for us. The problem is once the Black player gets eliminated... I should have stacked more of these up here to have a juicy stack up here to go for eliminations. I could card trade and take out the black player. Is it worth it? I mean, they'll have three cards. I'll have five. I'll turn it for three, have two to eliminate them, get, get on the trade. Yeah, uh, we try and take out black this turn. Yeah, we try and take out black this turn if blue doesn't beat us to us. We try to eliminate them. We stack here, we go here, 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 leave three, go here, 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 leave three, here, leave three. Actually, no. Do we try it a different way? I don't know. Pathing's gonna be weird on this one. I don't want to go through green over there. Maybe I do. No, no, no. We just want to take out black, get their cars. Problem is, once I eliminate, once I eliminate black, blue and green gang up on me, right? Maybe? Maybe not. I don't know. You would definitely need to take them out right now, though, because that'd be really good for us on the uh, card trade. Yeah, I go here, here, here. Actually, oh, there's a path right next. Yeah, here, here, here. Leave three here. Yeah, yeah. We, we eliminate you now. We take you out now. We trade in. Give me this sweet trade in here. Time is of the essence. We gotta be quick. Put it all right here. We're gonna do this right here. A little bit quick attacks, quick attacks. She like this. We go for this one. We go for this one. We move just three there. And go for a little bit of this. Over here. Over here. Could path this differently, but whatever. Only three. Over here. Uh, no, wait, no, I path wrong. 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 Crap. All right, well, we go the long way then. We go the long way. Sorry, green. I don't know if I have enough troops. Um, you know what? Oh uh, boy, we, we don't have enough troops. We kill guard. Alright, you know what? We, sc we screwed up. <laughs> we screwed up. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> we, we deserve to lose at this point. We screwed up bad there. Alright, well, let's just try and like make it awkward for green to get the kill. I don't know. I, I passed really poorly. I'm not used to playing on Europe at all. I mostly play uh, world. I need to try and uh, figure this out here. Alright, they're gonna try and do it as well. No, they're gonna go for Russia. That's fine. Man, I needed to eliminate black there, because now... Yeah, I did that all wrong, unfortunately. I need—I just need to play this map more. I need more practice on this map. I really, really do. Green not breaking me is great. It's fine. I mean, if I eliminate him later, I'll get a bigger card bonus for it. Problem is blue... Blue is probably... Yeah, blue has to get now. They've got a, they've got a much cleaner path through this than... I, yeah, yeah, blue gets the elimination here, which is a problem. But the advantage of that is... If they get his three cards then they will have so many troops that myself and Green will want to gang up on them. Because sometimes what happens is whoever gets the first elimination in a four-way four, you know, four -way battle gets so many troops and gets so big and scary troops-wise that the other two players see them as a big, scary target and gang up on them. And maybe that's what's going to happen right here. Man, I just really made it easy to get that kill. He was... Yeah, I, I could have I could have taken him out last round. played poorly. All right, so we kind of fed the black kill to blue by screwing up here, and they're going to be looking really strong. But... Myself and green can gang up on blue because otherwise both we both just lose. So that's what we're gonna try and do here I guess Trade on four we take this we do this, you know what? I Think we're have enough of troop advantage that we can probably get away with this. We're going in. We're going in boys <laughs> Take the chance. We're, we're going for it. We're hoping for the best we Gotta go ahead and get them out of here. We're going for it. You've wasted my life for long enough, sir and I'm going to to stop this uh, hit with this put like that many in there and this goes over to here big hit there big hit here G stop wasting my life blue player i only have so many years to live and you've wasted ten thousand of them get out of here get them out of here 
<laughs> Problem is, green probably has a trade on four, but I think I can maybe outplay them. Let's fortify this over to uh, here so I have some mobility. And now this is where the game could have been like 30 minutes ago if green uh, had just worked with me against blue when we had less troops. Unfortunately, they had a card trade. Um, I do as well. Not mine will be a little bit bigger. Oh, big attack on my stack there. All right, so they've got a massive troop advantage here on me, unfortunately. This is where, this is where like, the better player needs to try and get the win. All right, I, I had to take out the blue player there just because this match was never going to end. I could tell by the way Green is playing that it just never was going to end. They weren't, even, they weren't even willing to try and, like, block the guy off. All right, so they do that. I need to, I mean, that, that, green, that green stack is free. I need to just go around and break as much as I can. If they break this, I can stack everything here and just go trace their path all the way back through all their territories, break as much of their stuff as I can. They're gonna break my stack as well. Ooh, they're getting some good rolls. Yeah, I think we're unfortunately out of luck here. I wasn't quite strong enough to take the attack there, but I had to take the risk. I wasn't paying attention to how many cards you had. We do a card trade here, we hit this. I don't have that many troops, so instead I focus on breaking you rather than uh, dealing with your big stack over there. Let me try to beat you on the micro game. Beat you with the big attacks. We tag this, only put three there, and then we go over here to this, grab as much, oh, uh, no, never mind, go, to, go through here, go through here. Quick attacks, quick attacks, all the attacks, big attacks, quick attacks, everything of yours gets broken, all of your stuff becomes mine. Go through here, all this, yes, I need to be quicker, I need to break everything. Not going quick enough. I need more territories, I mean, more bigger troop bonus for me, less for you. We gotta go, we gotta go, quick. Quick like a proverbial bunny, get this. Probably shouldn't have freed that. Get some of this, okay, keep going. All the attacks. I need to break all you have before you run out of time. Quicker, quicker. I need to go. All the breaks, all the breaks. No bonuses for you, no bonuses for you. And then fortify this back over to here. Crap, ran out of time, no! I ran out of time, man. My only advantage is that, my only hope is that they also struggle on time. 10 troops, they go right here. And we go to work on you, sir. Smashing you as best we can. We hit this. We only put three here. We go over to here to break this. Get out of here, you. And then we go over to this. Can we get this up here? Boom that. With this. And you have as many territories as possible. And uh, just get more territory bonuses here if I can. Keep your 150 trapped. Hit this. And uh, hit a little bit of this as well. Actually, I need to clean path backwards so I could leave that be. Fortify this 82 over to where do I want to go? Maybe here gives me options. If I had my 80, if I had my 82 not trapped, I could have done so much damage to you this turn. You had a card trade on three. Why am I the? Oh, did I even look? I had a card trade. No, no, I got my card, my third card after that turn. So no, man. All right, so I got my 82 stack. We do this, get our trade, there we go. All right, where did we stack, where are we, where, where were we? They, they eliminated it, so they, they took it out. All right, fine, uh, right here. I think they took out the big stack of mine. All right, we just keep going. We keep going. I put this much work into it, we're gonna keep trying. I've got superior micro than them. Oh, my heart's really like racing. I need to go ham on you here, sir. Now I collect it. Ah, come on, go, 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 go. Me and my defective mouse trying to get the, jo the, the job done here. You're stacked, whatever. Just break as much as I can here. As many territories as I can. Keep working on you, little by little. Gotta destroy you, my nerd fellow. Be ready to fortify before it gets too like far back in time here. So we don't get stuck forever. Should probably break that 85 so you can't do too much of that, right? Can, pull, can like pull it back? And then we end tack, fortify this over to here. No, don't run out of time. There we go. The way I can beat them is, the only way I can beat them is the fact that I'm a little bit better at the micro game than they are. And I can maybe, like, pull it back that way. Because I've got 55 territories, they've got 21, I'm able to get more done in a turn than they are, and I can claw back from that. And I can win, in spite of having to be the guy to take out the blue player. Alright, sorry, that changes things a little bit. We stack these here, we try and go on the offensive, we try and ignore your big stack, take advantage of the fact that I'm faster than you. Only put three there, thank you. Hit this as well. We go ham. I'm gonna get blocked here actually by this, so didn't stack my troops properly either. Reduce a lot of your territories here. Hit this. Attacker's advantage. Uh a little bit low. Big hit advantage there. Try it again. Uh unlucky. Hit it again. 
Alright, can I get a little bit better luck? Can I get a little bit better luck? Can I get a little bit better luck? Can I get better luck? Can I get better luck? Alright, well we softened them up here a little bit, and that's pretty rough though. They blocked me. That was actually a good play on their part, blocked me in with their trap there. I feel like I couldn't got much of that. But now they have less troops to move around the board. But they're gonna get big bonus. Oh, I feel like they're getting better. I feel like they're about to screw up. Screw up and trap your- No, I needed them to- I need them to screw up and trap their thing. I need them to screw up and trap your troops somewhere. <gasps> they're trapping their troops back here. Good. You're on the same problem I have. So we go out, we hit here, we hit here, we leave three, we hit here, here, here. And we can trade- we can- we can split half through- put 20 down here to go through here. And the rest chases up through here. I stack my troops for here and here to deal with these. Oh, they fortify back. A good place, sir. A uh, good place, sir. Actually, they, they pinned me in. Wait, no, no. We, we ignore them. We ignore them. I should have put my troops elsewhere, but I got distracted. We ignore them. We do our plan here. We hit here. We put, uh, like, 22 there. And we keep working over here, split our stacks a little bit. Micro. We hit this. We put uh, that much there, sure. Go like this. Go crazy. Hit this. Hit this. Hit here. We put three there, sure. Uh, go for some of this. With this. We go all the hits, all the hits, greatest hits, all the attacks, all the attackies, come on, let's go, let's go, quicker, 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 all the speed, all the speed, more speed, more speed, more speed, more speed, more speed, more speed, good, over here as well, do work, more things they have to break, I get big, big bonuses, good, 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 I'm gonna have to fortify soon, gotta fortify soon, quicker, 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 go, 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 uh, in tech phase, uh, fortify you over to here, uh, not a great spot, but, oh well, it's, I can do something with it. Oh, they had a card trade on <laughs> four, but I do as well. Okay, okay. Oh, they got a lot of troops, but the but the, the biggest problem for them is never like, oh, do I not have enough troops? The biggest problem Green keeps having is their micro is too slow. They have had the chance to eliminate me time and time again. The problem is they're they're just too slow. The 60 second turn timer is why they haven't won yet. You give them a three minute turn timer, this player is won. All right, I need you to like, I need to, oh, so I can put like eight here to take this out. I'm not worried about those right now because it's gonna be a while if you can turn in again. This 57 handles that and I need to, they're trying to break all my stuff here, all right? I'm trying to break my bonus, but I've got a card trade here. I need to find a path. If I can go, if I can stack here, hit here, hit here, put something here, breaks all this, goes up here, goes for this, probably take out this stack entirely of yours, and just have you have less giant stacks roaming through. What do I get, like a, a 215 bonus? You have your 114 stuck in that corner. We go, we go, we go, we go. One big juicy stack over here, and we're going to stack these like so. We're going to go to war over here, a little bit of this. Give them the attacks, and the attacks, the attackies. Hit over here, put uh, like that much down. And we keep attacking over here. We'll come back to that later if we have time. Probably won't, but we must go learn how to like attack this map on the fly. It's a learning process. Get them out of here. Get get them out of here, and get this stack gone. Hundred percent chance to clean your clock. You hit over here. Good. Only put three. We hit over here. Good. That's fine. And now it's your turn, sir. Do some work over here. Over here. Over here. Over here. Good. And fortify this fifty-two over to here, and now you're getting pinned in a corner. I have more troops than you for a brief split moment. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's almost over. <laughs> we might come back from this. We could come back from this. They have to push through my 58 or my 52 to break my other stuff. <gasps> They've given up. They've given up. They're not taking their turn. They've given up. They quit. They left the match. They've realized that I am better at the micro game than they are. And they quit! <laughs> oh, baby! You kept getting your card trades before me and it still wasn't enough because you don't have the micro to beat the 60 second timer. It's a war of attrition that I win because I'm the better gamer. Let's go! <laughs> yep, they left and became a bot. Let's go. <laughs> oh, baby! Let's, it'll take a couple turns here. We'll be, we'll be fine here, I think. Push through this. Give you a little bit of a tickle there. Can I win it? 
There we go. If I put some troops over there, we could have won a bit quicker. They don't have a card trait, because they only have two cards, so let's just go ahead and trap them there. Oh, baby! The longest, most difficult match I've ever had in my life, and it's going to be a nightmare for me to edit. I don't care. I'm going to take a day and spend the entire day editing it. This is a video, and it's a long one. Thanks for sticking around so long, everybody. Look at the size of that trade-in. 305 troops deployed. Get destroyed. Get pulverized. Get embarrassed. Send in all the Troops, we did it! There it is. You'll love to see it. And I have plenty more videos you can watch too. See you in the next one.